You don't have to be um, biased just because, man. You could you could admit it when when he's taking a loss, like when when Jay Z and Nas was battling, man. It killed me, killed me to hear Easter. And just like we used to like play, like we had a CD player, and we had both of them. Like you know, like had the multi disc ones, like a six CD changer. Mm -hmm. We would play Easter, then we would play takeover and we'll play ether then we'll play takeover and it was just like undeniable man it was just undeniable and it hurt so bad Who so had I, it? yeah think? i mean nas you, won of course nas but you won. and you and you're saying you're more of a j yeah i was a jay-z fan I, i'm mm. i'm still a jay-z fan you know um see I, but I'm, yeah I'm that 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 nas was <laughs> yeah that was hurtful but yeah. at the same time jay-z didn't go into battle thinking that he was going to lose or or just with that fear, you know what I'm saying, or what people mm -hmm. might think and stuff like that. So, and um, Takeover was pretty. It was it was a nice serious hit because he really brought up a lot of facts about Nas. Kind of, it's very similar to with Kendrick because Nas wasn't putting out a lot of music around and he was being very selective. I think he had a couple of off moments like trying to find himself. Well, you know, his mother died too. Yeah. So he kind of was. Reserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. around that time, that was a tough time for him. Mm -hmm. So, um, but. Like I said, Nas came like crazy. That's my you know guy. What I'm he, I don't know. Like, so I understand how you feel. I, I empathize with you, but this ain't that. <laughs> this is not that. And um, I think like Kendrick just really just outsmarted Drake, man. Like to the point, like you said when you heard that last song, you heard something and you was like, man, this is tight. But that's just because you just like the sound of this man voice pause. <laughs> but um the <No. laughs> I heard just him taking her out. Like him and even now they're saying that he was lying. Like he didn't have he wasn't feeding Kendrick no information. He wasn't doing none of that. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to spin it. And yeah. it and that failed because not like us, it's just slamming. Slamming. First of all, he the production was better. He had what beats from Alchemist, he had Mustard, he had the Taylor Swift producer. Like it was just I don't know. He just put it together so much better. Like Drake's beats weren't better. I like Family Matters. Family Matters was Drake's best song through the whole thing. But the fact that he tried to do a bop twice and then he tried to get dark towards the end as he's making his exit. Mm. Come on, man. Like, Kendrick went at him on, like, four different kind of styles of beats. Like, Euphoria sounded different. Like, 616 sounded different. Yeah. Um, Meet the Grams sounded different. Not Like Us, different. Like, he just, he came at him, like, mm -hmm. up, down, left, right. Like, yeah. and it was just, like, flawless victory to me, man. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's nothing to take from Drake. That's nothing to take from him, but I think people are just like, dang, like they don't want to admit that he lost twice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, dang, like he just lost to Pusha T. Dang, he just lost to Kendrick. Like, what's mm -hmm. going on? You know what I'm saying? It it, it kind of sucks, but believe you me, he'll still do fine. Oh but, yeah, oh yeah. Like you know, Kendrick did take a lot of chinks in his armor. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. just the things that he do that's just like probably against the culture, certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the fingernail polish and the barrettes and stuff. See, a lot of stuff like that come back and bite you in the ass Who during these times. Drake. 